1986, I was working as a carpenter, and Bones had hooked me up with some lady who wanted to have her living room paneled. So I go to her house. She lives in Somerville, uh, Mass., which is just outside of Boston. And I should have known right away something is going to be crazy here because she answers the door. She's got some short, spiked gray hairdo. She's wearing a bright orange tank top and these tight silver spandex hot pants. Now keep in mind, it's like 9 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. And she's like 50, 55 years old. And things get instantly weirder right away. We walk into her kitchen. She's like, meet Harold, my parrot. And she starts singing to the bird. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Happy birthday to you. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I take a look around. I give her an estimate. We agree on a price. And I'll start the next day. It should take me a day, day and a half tops. Except the next day, 15 minutes into work, and she comes in. She's like, hey, you want a beer? And then another one, and another one. And I kept sucking them down because, you know, I like beer. And a few minutes later, she comes in. She's like, hey, you want to get baked? I'm like, take a look at me, lady. I think we all know the answer to that question. So spark up that gorilla finger and let's go. You know, because I like weed. Now we're smoking a joint and she goes, hey, you want to do some shots? I thought about it for like a half a second. I'm like, hell yeah, boss lady, I want to do some shots. You know, because I like shots. And now I'm smoking and drinking and hammering and sorry when she starts yelling over the saw, hey, you want to do some bull? I'm like, what? Whoa, hey, lady, slow down. You hired me to do a job. I work for you and there's a lot of work to do. But if you want to blow some reels, cut that yayo up, let's do it! You know, because I like blow. I proceed to knock out some huge gagger, and now my head's ready to explode, and the first thought that comes into my head, um, you really should stop using power tools the rest of the day. And now I'm arguing myself, what are you talking about? I'm fine. Um, you can't feel your face or your hands or your fingers right now. (laughs) That's true, I really can't. Okay, you're right, you're right. Which I thought was very responsible and very professional of me to come to that conclusion. Now keep in mind, it's still like 10 o'clock in the morning and every once in a while she breaks into song to the parrot, happy birthday to you. I'm hammered already. It's a scene, man. So I'm gone. I, I decide to tap out. I'll come back tomorrow and finish the job. Except tomorrow comes... And the same thing happens. I'm smoking and snorting and hammering and drilling and cutting and sawing. I get hammered again. Day three, same thing. Day four, it's like Groundhog's Day here every day. I feel like we're filming an episode of that PBS show, This Old Crack House. I kept waiting for Bob, the host, to come out and go, Joey, you need hand with the paneling? No? How about some blow? How about some weed? Uppers, downers. Norm has some hookers in the back. I'm all set, Bob. I'm good. Tell Norm I'll be out in 15 minutes. You know, because I like hookers. By the time day five rolls around, I had to have an intervention with myself. I have to stop partying, finish the job, get paid, and get the hell out of here. Which I do. I finally finish, and I give her an invoice for the job. Then she does something I totally was not expecting. She hands me a bill. Apparently, all the beer, weed, shots, blow, she kept a running tap. And apparently, one night backing out of her driveway, I smashed into one of her huge potted plants. That was on the bill, too. So I'm looking at her bill and my bill. Her bill looks much more professional. It's on professional letterhead, itemized down to a T. Mine was scribbled on some old legal pad I had left over from high school. I'm looking at the bills. I worked there five days. I owe her $250. She goes, if you want to work off that bill and paint my upstairs bathroom, we'll call it even. I'm like, no way. With my addictive personality, I'll end up in rehab if I stay here another minute. I paid the bill, left Dodge, and I call up Bones. I go, Bones, don't ever recommend me anyone ever again. He goes, okay. (laughs) 